Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello there everyone and welcome back, it's day 38 here and we're about to dive on in, but first, let's take a look at this DPS calculator because I did at the end of yesterday compare the Sulphur and the Dragon and found out that the Dragon Sim with the Toxket Zeal is slightly better, but there is a third option that I had not considered that we have now considered, and look at that, look at that, the max hit goes up by five from the dragon sim and the kill time goes down by three whole seconds that could be huge i'm going to be invested in full obby it's going to cost me about three mil so i'm going to need to draw some money out of miscellanea i think but first we will be getting on with the burbs and the herbs and seeing what our cash tag actually looks like because i can't remember for the life of me how much money we have Today we're going to be killing lots of Cyclopses, hopefully we are going to make some solid progress through the Defender grind. We got just the one yesterday, should be a pretty chill day, I am going to be flicking for most of it though, so I'll probably just be in the zone getting shit done, should be a very productive day. And yeah, we're going to invest, we're going to get the Obby Sword, the Obby Shield, the Obby Helmet, and the Berserker Necklace. And for those who don't know, the reason this is so potent is if you're wearing the plate body, the helmet, and the plate legs all at the same time, then all your obsidian equipment is boosted by 10% accuracy and damage. If you are wearing the necklace, you get a further, I can't remember, either 10 or 20% to that boost, which is insane. The accuracy of the setup is lower. It does suffer for the Berserker Necklace if you're not using Obsidian. But when you are, way, way better. So we should be absolutely slapping those Cyclopses down. So yeah, it's looking like we are going to need to go to Miscellanea unless there happens to be money waiting for us in the G. But I don't feel like I heard any Grand Exchange things ping when I logged in. I was wondering why my game sounds are so low. It's because I turned them down because of flicking. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a lot more sense when I think about it. Let's hope we don't have any dead patches today. Lovely hole on that second one. These levels are actually coming in handy. My clicks are all over the place though. Changed my DPI recently and I'm still trying to get used to it. The reason I changed it is because my wrist was hurting too much. So I thought I should make it faster so it has less distance to travel. Which has been helping, but I'm still getting used to the uh, faster movement of my mouse. It's a good job we're not doing anything too crazy at the minute, though. Okay, six out of six there. Yield didn't actually look that much better than normal. I think it was usually around that many, but feels better. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. Quick stop at the staff shop, and then we will be going up to the GE. Slap these up. Okay, we definitely need some money from Miscellanea, so we're gonna go right on over there now. And let's just put an offer in for a Tokket Zeal, and one in for a Toxilac. Hopefully that buys by the time we get back. And we need the helmet, which is gonna be about 550k, and the Berserker Necklace is about 2 mil. Yep. So we want about three mil out just to give us some pocket change left over. Let's go to miscellaneous. In fact, I think I'm going to change my left click on the ring to miscellaneous now that we use Varok teleports to get to the GE. 
it's worth saying as always these are purchases that we're not planning to take into raids so we'll get the money back out of them the pretty stable prices doesn't really change ever that much because it's just an item that's used for a specific portion of some people's grinds and you know the way that you get them has never changed so nobody really wants to go and grind them out okay so i think i should actually just claim first and then take the money out right so that's only gonna leave us with about two mil in there okay but the necklace is right there an offering on that, perfect. Obsidian helm, perfect. Please buy. I guess I'll put it up one tick. And we will just tag this stuff with Melly to get it into the tab. We'll swap this around here because for now this is our main setup while we're doing our training. And we will remember to bring the dragon dagger this time as well. All right, time to go to warriors guild pop on over to the bank and get geared up what an absolute menace right time to get to work so i guess we want about 400 we want about 400 tokens to last us 40 minutes because it's 10 per minute but then i think it it's an extra 10 at every time you enter so we probably want to get just over it's not going to harm us to have more tokens than we need, so... My flicking is actually all over the place. We don't really need to flick here, though, to be fair. Guess we'll spec one of them. Can I have a hit, please? The fuck? Oh, I'm not pod either. I'm done. Maybe it's because I clicked it, like, when you're interacting with that thing and it doesn't work. Okay, I've decided two things. One... I'm going to leave my prior on because I'm going to go reset at Ferox. Two, the reason I'm doing that is because I am going to go to the GE and get Super Combats. I should just be using Super Combats. It'll take us one potion a day, basically, of Super Combats, if you think about it. Because each one lasts, like, plus 15, right? Plus 14. And if we're just letting, letting them run the full way down, then it's one potion a day, which isn't that bad. So we're going to go reset, get some. If I'm investing, I may as well invest all the fucking way, you know what I mean? We do need a combat bracelet to get back now, though. I'm going to get a spare one of them as well, just so we've got one in the bank on full charges. All right, we've got shit to put up on the GE as well, actually, from miscellaneous. Let's just knock that up real quick. Okay, some things are kind of ridiculously overpriced at the minute. No wonder they're not selling. Okay, they're cheap as fuck. We get 10 of them. No, that's actually not as bad as I thought. Okay, I'm happy to invest in that. Better than paying 30k each for the defense boost that we don't need. Right, so we're taking this to be safe. We're taking one each of these. We've got the DDS. This is just in case we get alcohol drops. We want a little bit of food, I guess. Okay, now I feel like we are fully prepared to begin this grind. A bit later than maybe... I was originally expecting to, but we're getting there. And we've got a full day worth of tokens with some leftover spare. Here goes. Let the fun begin. Oh, I did say I was going to try and get the uh, proper ones tagged, didn't I? Ones that we actually want. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, do them one by one. I hope that's not something I have to do every day. There's only two of them around here. That one's safe. That one's not. Ooh, max hit of 28 there. No, we didn't want that one on us. I'm gonna I'm gonna go around and tag them all that we want. Just while this thing's hitting me. I know it's a slight inefficiency here, but I wanna make sure I know which ones are safe. So I know where the cluster is. Not safe, but optimal. Maybe like here between these four. Oh, that one's definitely gonna get one bit. I mean it's not too bad to be fair. They're all by in pretty uh, reasonable speeds. I think maybe just these two down here are good enough. Ooh, max hit of 32. Why is that different? Why is that different? Nothing changed. We saw a max hit of 28 before. That can't have been right. Now I'm confused. Maybe it was DDS poking when I didn't think I was or something. I don't actually know if it's worth bringing the DDS because it, it takes my like attention away from the flicking. 
which means we don't have chivalry up. It might just be worse DPS to try and get specs in than focusing on flicking. Maybe I missed a flick because I just saw a max hit 27. Maybe it's when I wasn't flicking correctly. My max hit's lower. That makes sense. Hey, we got the iron. Let's go. I was just thinking we'd killed quite a few in the time we were in there. And here we go. We do now have the iron defender. Beautiful stuff. We can start working towards the steel. That was 69 KC that we got the iron. It's not a bad start, to be honest. Because if it's one in every 50, then... We're ahead of drop rate right now. I'm bl I believe it's 1 in 50. Maybe I've just pulled that out of my ass. Yeah, 1 in 50. At least up until Dragon. The Dragon one's more. I think it's like 1 in 25, 1, 2, 5 maybe. Maybe it's not that bad. I think for the sake of not having my potions sit in the bank on one dose or whatever, I want to use like one potion a day, so I think I'm going to report in a sec when it goes under and keep them like 10 minutes before reporting. So I don't have to worry about switching back and forth with it a bunch. I'm just going to send my specs whenever there are hundreds. I'm just going to leave my prayer up, send it. Ah, fuck the prayer, actually. A mysterious old man. A maze! That's actually a doable one. Like, we could get decent rewards from that. But I don't really want to stop this grind right now. I feel like that's going to cut in my efficiency. I don't know how tickets and shit work from when you're in the maze. Like, I don't want my tickets to drain while I'm doing the maze accidentally. Because you never know with a fucking Jagex game, do you? Like... I can't really focus on just the 56s because they take a while to respawn and they're not closely packed enough. So like, like I just killed a 76 and the 56 only just respawned as I'm about to kill the next one. So I kind of have to kill some 76s as well or run around like an idiot. Hey yeah, guys using sulfur blades. Big up my man. I was here doing that same shit yesterday. If you can't afford the orb then is what it is. A good budget option. And there's the Steel Defender coming in hot right after an attack level that I was totally talking over. Let's use that on her. Strong as steel, baby. Don't need that one anymore. If I don't want to leave that on the floor distracting me, that's gonna make me feel uncomfortable. Do we think we can get another one today? We are way under the drop rate. That was our hundredth kill. Look, we got the Steel Defender. Three in a hundred rather than two in a hundred that we expect. Cannot complain at all so far. Every time I see black something pop up, I'm like, oh, 
Not yet, that is just a sword that for some reason isn't hidden. We got the black one. Let's go. Do you think we can squeeze one more out? I don't know. It seems like a lot to ask. Oh shit, I left my prayer on. That was uh, 134 KC. We got the black up. We are very under drop rate. We should be at 200 right now, uh, which is fantastic because usually this place is a nightmare. Doesn't mean it's not still going to be, you know. We're up to myth next, we need myth. And then Addy and Rune and then Dragon. Any one of those could prove to be an absolute bitch. Or they could just keep coming, who knows. I remember the first time I ever did this, I was at like 800 KC and I was on myth. And I hated my life, but that's not right now, baby. Right now things are going pretty well. Starting to think we may not be spending quite as long here as we're potentially expecting to. Fuck it, let's repot, let's get the most out of this. We've only got one dose left anyway. I'm glad I decided to invest in this Obby Berserker setup because I think it is way better. Not if we're trying at the Nagua. If we were at the Nagua, I'd still be using the old setup. I should probably do a DPS check on that, but they're a weird enemy, so I don't know if the DPS calculator factors in the extra plus four or not. Oh, I don't think myth is going to happen today, folks. It just doesn't seem like it's coming. I'm going to leave here very soon to get the birdhouses done in time. I'll probably just finish both these 56s on the way out. No, no such luck. Can not complain, though. We're at 170 KC and we've got four defenders. So, yeah, we're not complaining at all. Uh, let's go very quick to birdhouses. I never leave myself enough time, do I? I'm always like, it's fine, I'll just, I'll just finish this that I'm doing, and then time's up. <laughs> no, that guy going to tick on me. Oh my gosh, we were in sync. He's got two ticks on me now, look, he's two steps ahead of me. What is this? An absolute travesty. I am being so in the Oh, we caught back up. We caught back up, folks. Let's slap this down because I've spied some goodies. Tell me I filled that up. I didn't fill it up. Oh my gosh. I'm flapping. Okay, it's fine as long as I get the click in. Click. We're good. Totally calculated. Boom. Birdhouse is done. We got the goodies too. Let's have a see what the XP track's saying. 70k, not too great, but not too shabby either. We're happy with that. That's about what I'd expect from a day doing Cyclops training. We got 43,000 attack XP, so it's not terrible to be honest. Like the rate we ended up at is like 50k, 53k maybe with the you know, the obsidian setup, so it's nowhere near as good XP per hour as Sulfur Nagua, but you wouldn't expect it to be. And the fact that we already got four of our defenders, look at this, bronze through black. We need Myth, Addy, Rune, Dragon. We're halfway there already, folks, and we've only done like a day and a half of actual trading there. We've still got some tokens left over as well. I think we had about 100 left over, so that is all good. And once we're done with this grind, we can, of course, sell all the obsidian that we bought to fund it. Get our cash back from that. But yeah, I'm not going to wait on any longer. This is the end of our day, as always, and the end of this episode. I've got a Chinese about to turn up, and I want to split before it gets here. 
hit that like button if you like Chinese or if you like one hour limit locked or if you like laughing at my shit haircut. Any of the above, leave a comment down below. Don't tell me which one of those it was. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content that is coming, including more one hour limit locked and plenty more to come after that. Until next time though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.